All right. <laughs> I did it. So we still have Emma. We're back here in Trails of Cold Steel 4, and we just beat the Burning Sphinx form of Roselia. Huh. How'd you like that, huh? We like winning. That was tough, but I think we did it. Thanks to some confused proof <sighs> accessories. I didn't expect you to be able to hold your ground so fiercely, children. Once you once you you can't confuse us, you're nothing. Now I understand how Ragnard and <laughs> must have felt after facing your kind. Aurora? So what was that? <laughs> yeah, we can't name that one. Huh? I know of the ancient dragon, but the other name. What's up with that it name? It sounds similar to that of the Steel Maiden's Divine Knight. It is a name that has passed from this world into oblivion. So we can't say it anymore? What is this? Like Metal Gear Solid V's language virus? But back to the matter at hand. You have all passed the trials set before you. As for what comes next, you had best brace yourselves. For the truth. Let's uh, all take a peek. The spectral moon mirror. It's... It's gonna lit up. It's gonna light up. Put on a show. I'll guide us through. Everyone get ready. Gu guide us through. What does that mean? What is this? It's just like a roller The fragments of the past preserved in the black records. Right? A reality even I have yet to see. Do not avert your eyes. This is the truth. Enjoy the movie. It's like gonna be a projection. One of those dark rides in theme parks. Okay, we got Zeno and Leo when... Damn it! Why? Rutger died. How could the boss just leave us like this? Not his choice. He was killed. He told us to take care of Fee. He must have been prepared for this. The boss dragged Baldur the War God straight down to Gehenna with him. I'm sure he's happy about that. Is that Randy's dad? Because he's the son of the War God. And yet... What a shame. It would seem I failed to make it in time. Here comes the Black Alvaric. You. Ain't you that guy from the workshop? Why, yes. Oh, I do hope our S weapons are serving you well. I have a certain proposal that you might find of interest. And as it so happens, everything we need to execute it can be found nearby. Before his body rots. If all goes well, it may be possible to bring your boss back to life. What was that? Now you're just talking crazy. Very well. I cannot fault your suspicion. Perhaps the Red Constellation would be interested in having their leader back instead. Of course we can't have that now, can we? There is, after all, only room for one in this deal. Congratulations on completing your trial. He's back. And he's got his knight. I trust you understand your situation, Rutger Klossel. Yeah, let me see if I got this straight. I get to pilot Zector, one of the fragments of the Great Power. Which means, somehow or another, I ended up being the Chosen Sap. But not by old Palatinate over there, per se. You set me up, didn't you? Oh, and what makes you say that? Don't play dumb. I know you've been giving weapons to both us and the Red Constellation. And if there can only be one... Pilot? Wouldn't be any of my business ordinarily, but when I fought Balder, I realized something strange was going on. We duped it out for three days and three nights straight. Guys gotta wonder how that's even possible. <laughs> and on top of that, this big thing just happened to be sleeping right next to where we died. I can't even remember why we chose that place for our final showdown. Because it was all set up. But it's obvious to me now. You've been the one pulling the strings behind our backs this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we can skip this laughter. <laughs> you know, he likes it when people finally understands his grand schemes. Oh, ha ha ha. Relinquish it to me. You got it. It belongs to me. Your soul. Your entire being. Is this the Palatinate Knight night talking? <laughs> You never do tire of this, do you? Wait, who's this? You are the embodiment of delusion. Repulsive, 
without a single shred of dignity, unlike Valamar. Return of the Knights. Compared to me, the Ashen Knight is nothing more than scrap metal. That's not... That's not Osborne, so who is that? Accept it! You, with the heart of a lion, deserve better. You alone deserve to pilot me. Dracos? Oh, okay. Damn. Emperor. The Argent One comes, but it matters not. You shall never escape my grasp. No matter where you flee, your weary soul will never find refuge. So Dracos was tempted by this knight? Dracos, what was that just now? There's, of course, the Iron Maiden. Wait, what? Is that Steel Maiden? The Iron <laughs> It's been an age and a half, Leanne. You haven't changed at all from when I last saw you. No, if anything, you're more beautiful than ever. <laughs> Your flattery won't work on me. I assume you heard what became of me from Rose? Indeed. She told me of your revival, and how you'd left Erebonia in secret. No doubt the works of the Black Gnomes also, the Black Workshop. What a heartless woman you are. Literally. We promised to grow old together, yet you've left me here to grow old on my own. Even so, my thoughts have always been with you. It's not gonna help. You and Evelyn's children have grown up splendidly. Your bloodline will surely be blessed with many descendants. I regret that I could not have given you the same. Nevertheless, I am truly happy for you. Leanne. Now please, tell me, what was that earlier? That horrible darkness hanging over you? Yeah, who is that? How long has it been haunting you? And why? No answers. I thought it's going to reveal everything. My name is Georg. I never had a surname, but the chief told me to pick one, so I took out the G from Gnome and went with that. Wait, you're George G? The you're idea G? of having G, 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 G as my initial sounded silly to me. Repetitive. That's really all there is to it. When I left the workshop, my real memories were replaced with fake ones. Okay, memories of George. Not that it was so bad. It was as if I'd become a character in a story. I played my role, going to school, making friends, unaware that I'd been regularly reporting back to the workshop the entire time. Wait, how are you unaware that you've been regularly reporting? They'd used the Faceless's hypnosis techniques on me, having stolen them from Ouroboros. Okay, you're hypnotized. But honestly, Retcon. it wasn't that bad, considering it was just a dream. I doubt Reviving that. Crow was simply a matter of efficiency. Nothing more. I doubt that they had planned George to be gay all this time. I truly doubt it, but if they did, then that's amazing. The Chief gave me an earful for it, but... I knew Crow would be a suitable candidate for the rivalries. Didn't work out, we got him on our side. Although we did complete the rivalry, so I guess that's a step forward for them. That's the only reason I did what I did. It's the same reason I didn't kill Angie. And the same reason I gave the Courageous a chance. Who's this babe? Oh, here we go. Now, now, there's a good boy. He has a gentle look to him. Just like you. We should be glad he hasn't taken after me. Green Schwartz. <laughs> Though I suppose if he had my rugged features, he'd have no end of admirers. <laughs> I'm sure. Besides, you resemble your father too, don't you? Though I might start to worry if you turn out half as oblivious as him. Hmm? How do you mean? <laughs> you see? But in a way, that's just what I love about your father. Take care, dear. Best of luck with tomorrow's mission. I'll be off then. I love you, Kasha. And you as well, Reen. And the happy days were over. <laughs> Coming it's back. been 180 years since his passing, and only 30 since his soul found its way back to this world. So do you see Dracos in Osborne? A wonderful wife and a healthy child. It seems there's no need for me to be concerned. Not yet, but 
we know what happens next. But I fear the darkness still hangs over him. For he is. What was he? Perhaps it's the time sacrifice. I reconsider that invitation. How this what? is. Again? Honestly. You and your research projects. This is a lot of cuts. Well, whatever it's about this time, I'm sure you'll make it a success. Like always. Just try and make it back for the weekend, all right? My father would love to spend some time with you. As would Elisa. Wait, who's this talking? I'll see what I can do. Oh, I love okay. you, Arena. It's mother. Elisa's mother. Oh, boy. What in Adios' name am I doing? Spending my days designing weapons instead of spending time with my wife and daughter? Not that these recent headaches are helping, or these sudden drowsy spells. So what, are you also hypnotized to work as the Black Albert? They couldn't find anything wrong with me at the clinic, though. False memories? The Panzer Soldat. With any luck, it'll revolutionize the industry as we know it. But will it be good enough for the professor to approve as my final thesis? Wait, my final thesis? Where did that thought even come from? It's almost as though... Um, am I trying to leave this place? Yes, you are. <laughs> That's a funny thing. It it arise, Franz Zuman. I have already claimed the king. All that remains is his steward. Accept your fate. The curse. <laughs> Mr. Franz Reinford? Pardon my intrusion. This is, of course, Sharon. I am one of the enforcers of Ouroboros, number nine, the Severing Eclipse. I've come to retrieve the research reports. As per your agreement with Professor Novartis. It's one of the Anguises. <sighs> the one with the bowl cut. You are Mr. Reinford, correct? An affiliate of the 13 factories? Though that is indeed my name, it is not who I truly am. The Black Albert. <sighs> Franz Reinford was nothing more than a temporary alias. It is nothing compared to my true self. So wait, did he just awaken to his true self? And that dilemma earlier about, why oh, am I leaving, etc. That was all hypno hypnosis. A name passed down for centuries from one servant of the Great One to another. Uh, I beg your pardon. I suppose I should cast my alias aside now. You couldn't have arrived at a better time. All right, so he has fully awakened. I regret to inform you that I will not be relinquishing my research. Try and obtain it by force if you like, but be warned, it won't end well for you. And so, the apparent death of Franz Looking happened. back, I've experienced more than my fair share of misfortune. My parents were wealthy landowners in the north, but an avalanche claimed them while I was still young. By some stroke of fate, I was taken in by the Baron of Ymir and sent to Thor's military academy. Sounds familiar. As the years went by, my career progressed well, granting me many close friends along the way. And then, well into my thirties, I met her. Kasia. The woman who would become my wife. Oh, I experienced my fair share of teasing, but in spite of that, our union was blessed. It was around that time, however, that I started hearing the voice. The evil one from Erebonia. So this land is just, it to it's me. just evil. We should get out of here. It belongs to me. Your soul. Your entire being. Yes. 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 Unable to seek anyone's counsel, I tried to seal it deep within my heart. By the time we'd married and our son was born, the voice had faded into only the faintest of thoughts. But no sooner could I breathe a sigh of relief had it returned at the very worst point of my wretched life. When tragedy struck. Thank the goddess. You're okay. Please kill it. I beg of you. Save. Her child. No! Why? Damn 
time you are a dull. What did Kasha and my son ever do to you? I'm your enemy. I'm the one you want. Hadios, please, someone answer me. God is a fiend. I don't care. Uh -huh, so this is like I'll Kratos. do anything. Take me instead if you must. Just please spare our son's life. This is just like Kratos. Oh, Every how long I've waited to hear those words. Waited and waited, Trichos, for two hundred long years. This time you'll be my awakener, not the Ashen Knight. What's, what's the name of his knight again? Agree, and I will deliver your son from death. He agrees. He agrees. It was you. You're the one who did this. All of it. But I don't care anymore. Take my body. Take my soul. Do what you will. So long as you save my son, it doesn't matter what happens to me. And that was a Ebonite. turning point. Ishmelga! The Ebonite. Okay. Got Ebon, Platinet, Azure, Ashen, uh, Vermilion. What else? <laughs> now you see the there it is, then. whole truth. The whole truth. So the duel the boss died in was rigged from the start. By Black Alberic. But even he was just a puppet. George, too. Though his circumstances were a bit different. Yeah. And what was that thing possessing Elisa's dad, anyway? It looked like he was taken over by another persona. The chief of the gnomes. Everyone's being taken over and possessed. The being that possessed him has achieved immortality through means different from mine. I suspect it lives on by becoming one with any descendant of the gnomes it deems worthy. Almost akin to a parasite of sorts. Sounds convenient. Father. We also learned the truth about Aryan Road, or Leanne Sandlot as she was once known. She spent 250 years watching over the Empire as well as the man she loved most. A saint in the truest sense of the word. But... but... that means the guy she spent all that time watching over is... Gilead Osborne. I admit, I always did have my suspicions. Why, for instance, did Emperor Eugent go to such lengths to support the Chancellor? You're right. It all makes sense now. His Majesty had the entire truth in his hands this whole time. The Black Records. He knew that the Lionheart Emperor Founder of Thors, father of the Renaissance, and victor in the War of the Lions 250 years back, had been reborn as Giliath Osborne, the Blood and Iron Chancellor. That's him. So an Aryan road is fully on board. Always there. Yeah. I never imagined reincarnation would be possible. Paranormal bullcrap. Except it's for real this time, isn't it? Bullcrap is real. Of all the things for the visions to show us. It stinks. Those witless fools! Why didn't Leanne and Dreykels come to me? Wait, so you don't know this, or...? Did you not say we were friends? Was it all just a lie? Or are you just reacting? No. I am the one at fault. How could I have been so blind for centuries? Grandmother. Rose. <laughs> Rosalia, what can you tell us about this Ishmelga? The Ebon Knight. The Ebon Knight. All signs point to him being the one behind all this, don't they? It radiates an aura unlike any other Divine Knight we've encountered. I do not know. This particular Divine Knight has remained mostly hidden for over a thousand years. Not anymore. It was absent for both the War of the Lions 250 years ago and the Dark Dragon's appearance 900 years ago. However, it may have been the one behind them, or perhaps the one behind every tragic event in Erebonia's dark history. Just to get at... Dracos?
just to get the soul of no dragons. way <clears throat> valimar or dean and all the other divine knights we've seen thus far have each had their own conscious mind what if that mind were to become warped by malice amassing it as a kind of power the gnomes and the hexen clan have been at odds from the very start even still we managed to reach a compromise 1200 years ago we stood side by side as we sealed off the great one we worked arm in arm to help found the empire but 800 years ago after the reclamation of the capital the gnomes suddenly broke off all contact with us mm, why and the one behind all of that was the ebon knight so this is just to frame someone as a true evil behind it all it must have taken over the gnomes and made them into its followers kind of reducing good osborne's villainous well that's the nice way of putting it i guess in reality they're nothing more than its brainwashed minions and so they got involved with all sorts of shady stuff including the boss's death moving their evil plans forward the whole time yeah even now that's the curse that albrecht was talking about but what's its end goal bringing back the great one or is it trying to win the rivalry of the seven to become the great one itself good question Alyssa. is that what the oz units were created for what i was created for what milliam gave her life for <laughs> Just the thought of it makes me sick. We can't let this stand. Reen is very <sighs> angry now. Reen? That thing is the reason for all this suffering. Not only in Erebonia, but in every country surrounding it. I'm gonna smash it to pieces! The Lance Maiden and the Jaeger King were all made into immortals and forced into its game. It took Milliam's life and the lives of so many others. Major Lecter's father, Major Claire's family, and others still. Innocent people, all made into its victims. Elisa's father, George, my mother. Everyone. Even Chancellor Osborne himself. Even you, viewer. Green, keep it together. At this rate, the curse will take hold of you. He doesn't care anymore. <laughs> it seems the truth was too much for him to handle. Damn it. You gotta get it under control. Calm yourself, my awakener. Uh oh. He's back? Valimar? Valimar has spoken. What is this? It feels so soothing. Valimar's back. Finally. Uh, where are we? Is this the phase space where divine knights and awakeners make their contracts? Nah. I get the feeling we're somewhere else entirely. Valmar, you can speak again? Yeah, so get your freaky eyes out of this here. This is different from when we spoke back in the workshop, isn't it? Correct. It seems the curse has temporarily loosened its grip on oh, me. just temporarily. My means of expression remain limited, however. Perhaps I will recover the ability to speak in the real world at some point. I hope so. Thank the goddess. Hear my words, Awakener and secondary contractors. The Ebon Knight is not the only one to blame for all the tragedies you made. Mankind's weakness contributed to bringing them about. It's not their fault if, if they're weak. If you fail to understand this, you have no hope of prevailing in the rivalries ahead, even with the sword. The sword? <laughs> Milia. Hiya, guys. Hold it tightly. Grip it with one hand. Can't be. All right, it works. There's Milliam. I'm back. Milliam. Milliam. <laughs> hey guys, did you miss me? I've been watching over you guys the whole time. Every time you got in a pickle, and every time you whooped your way right out of it. Guess I should say sorry, though, for not being strong enough. I wanted to be able to say, I saved the day. Holy First crap. off, I accidentally you were... pressed. Sorry, sorry about that. Where's the... Okay. Guess I should say sorry. I wanted to be able to say, I saved the day. That I helped protect everyone. But I never thought I'd cause you guys all this grief instead. Milliam. You don't have to apologize. 
Not in the slightest. You did more for us than we ever could have asked. <laughs> That's funny acting. I'm guessing the two of you appeared to tell us something important. Am I right? Emotionless reply from Reen. Yeah. Being stuck like this helped us finally figure a few things out. First off, you were right about the rivalries being struggles for power between the Divine Knights. Crow's an immortal, so he should have totally vanished from our world after he was defeated. But he did not. But it seems like you guys figured it out. Making him your kin like that bought him some more time. Though, when it comes to the end of the Great Twilight, um, I probably don't even need to say Yeah, Crow will be gone. <laughs> That's me, living with the death sentence over my head. Crow! <laughs> There is one more thing to mention regarding the Ebon Knight. His power is immense. Beyond the reach or understanding of this realm, he could defeat every one of us. However, this would not make him whole again. He requires a worthy opponent. As such, I expect the following will occur. The, the champion of the rivalries, the, the Ebon Knight will challenge. The Ebon Knight will wait until yeah. one knight has absorbed the power of the other five in order to have his worthy opponent. Exactly. However, because this opponent has such power, it is at this point Ishmelga could potentially be defeated. He likes a challenge. The Jaeger King's Palatinate Knight. The Steel Maiden's Argent Knight. Argent. The Prince's Vermilion Knight. Rufus's Arg Knight. And the Arg. And Reen's Ashen Knight, sorry, the partnered I forgot. with Crow's Azure Knight. It'll be one of them who'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Ebon Knight. How about it, Reen? Looks like we don't have much of a choice. I thought Azure has been defeated. Oh, right, we did not absorb him. Your rivalry at the Soul Shrine was only a preview of what's to come. Maybe we can convince the boss to join us, just like Crow. I don't think so. Perhaps. And from what we saw in those visions, there could certainly remain a chance to recruit the Steel Maiden to our side as well. Okay, now that's a possibility. So maybe we don't absorb and we just team everyone up. Not Cedric, though. We, we, have, to, we have to absorb him. That's right. I don't they want of all people should understand what it is we're fighting for. We can make it work. I'm sure of it. Ain't gonna be easy, but at least now we finally got some light at the end of this tunnel. Maybe so. But I somehow doubt Rufus or the Prince will be half as eager to team up with us. So long as Valimar can win the rivalries and absorb the power of their knights, it shouldn't pose too much of a problem. Let's absorb the Vermilion Knights. With more power. allies and more power, we might actually have a shot against Chancellor Osborne. Our odds may be slim. But this is our best chance to defeat Ishmelga for good. I've made my decision, Valimar. Not as the sacrifice, and not as an ogre, but as myself. We're going to see these rivalries through to the very end, with you and Milium at our sup. Well said, Red right. Wickener. There's our plan. That's what I like to hear. I'll be right there with you all the way. Okay. Milium! Stop! Don't go! Uh, okay, Please, obviously. wait! There's still so much I have to say! She can listen, Come on, though. guys! You don't have to worry! Even if you can't see me, I'm always with you! In your heart! Remember, we're all a team! No matter what happens! Billy! Come back! Oh, that... wasn't just a dream, was it? Those were visions. No. <sighs> now I see. She was never gone. She's been here all along. She just became a sword. My big sister. <laughs> She's come such a long way. I can hardly believe it. What exactly was that, Grandmother? A liminal space between dreams and reality. Bestowed unto you by the spectral moon mirror, something similar happened back when I inherited my predecessor's responsibilities. The mirror has granted us more than expected. All those centuries of watching over it were well worth it. Till so you were entertained, Rosalia. Yeah, they really were. Rosalia, and Emma, and Celine as well. Thank you for everything. You could pass that on to Vita and the Rakshasa too. Props for all the help. Valimar has fallen silent once more. And it's unlikely Milliam will be able to speak to us like but that again. But we're ready to kick some butt. Yet, their souls are still with us, always. Of that, we can be certain. Indeed. 
Now that we're all together again, there can be no more room for doubt in our path as Class 7. And as members of the Radiant Wing. Probably would have been screwed without you witches helping out, though. Yeah, you witches. I guess you. that's worth a thanks or two. Definitely. I think I'm finally ready to face my father and Sharon again. And also the boss. Yeah. We owe you guys. Big time. You guys. You're making way too big a deal over it. I didn't do anything. That's true. Celine did not do anything. I guess. I'm glad things worked out. Ah, it feels as though several centuries of weight has been lifted from my shoulders. As for the new facts that were revealed to us, I will let Vita and Thomas Lysander know what they should. That'd be a great help. Thank you. Yeah, guys. I'm just purpose. happy I was able to carry out my duty as a wandering witch. If you want to do it, and do but it. But I couldn't have done it if our family hadn't worked so hard to protect this sacred place. So thank you, grandmother for guiding our clan for so many years. Why did, why did you return to being a child again? And more than anything, for making me the person I am today. Aw, shucks. Just where is all this coming from? What do you think you're doing? Are you trying to bring your poor granny to tears? This old heart of mine can only take so many surprises. My word. It would seem our little trip can be counted as a success. We should bring the good news back to his highness and the other. Right. Best not to keep them waiting any longer. Let's be off. To the Courageous Two. Right. Well, yeah, that was quite a trip. And now... We're at the end of the trip. So that was basically a huge lore dump. Maybe I got... 70% of it. I, mean, I think that's enough. Got the gist of it. Basically, Ebonite is the truest baddie of them all. That's it. We'll see what happens as we return to the Courageous 2 next time in Trails of Cold Steel 4.